here is a story for Mr. Dominic and little Miss Mia called The Tenth Good Thing About Barney, and Barney is their cat. So here's the story. Grandma, help us with this. My cat Barney died last Friday. I was very sad. I cried and I didn't even watch TV. I cried and I didn't even eat my chicken or even my chocolate pudding. I went to bed and I cried. Hmm. Sometimes we feel like that, don't we? Well, my mother sat down on my bed and she gave me a hug. She said, we could give and have a funeral for Barney in the morning. She said, I, I, I think, how about you think of 10 good things about Barney so I could tell them at the funeral? Hmm. <clears throat> I thought and I thought and I thought of good things about Barney. I thought about nine good things. Then I fell asleep. In the morning, my mother wrapped Barney in a yellow scarf. My bo father buried Barney in a ground in a tree by a tree in the yard. Annie, my friend from next door, came over with flowers, and I told good things about Barney. There they are in the yard, digging a hole and getting to say good things about Barney the cat. Hmm. Well, Barney was brave, I said, and smart and funny and clean, also cuddly and handsome, and he only once ate a bird. It was sweet, I said, to hear him purr in my ear, and sometimes he slept on my belly and kept it warm. Those are all good things, said my mother, but I just count nine. I said, I, I would try to think of another one later. At the end of the funeral, we sang a song for Barney. We couldn't remember any cat songs, so we sang one about a pussy willow. Even my father knew the words. Well, Grandma, I don't know if I know any songs about pussy willows, but I'm glad that they were able to sing the song. And that's a nice thing to do when you're thinking about Barney, their cat. Hmm. Then Annie and I went into the kitchen with Mother. She gave us orange aid and butter cookies, and she left the box on the table so we could have seconds. I gave my seconds to Annie. I miss Barney, I said. Well, Annie said Barney was in heaven with lots of cats and angels, drinking cream and eating cans of tuna and good, good kitty food. I said Barney was in the ground. Heaven, said Annie, heaven. So there, the ground, I told her, the ground. You don't know anything. My father came in from the yard and took a cookie. Big mouth Annie said heaven again, and I said the ground. Tell her who's right, Dad. She doesn't know anything. Hmm, Dad's just eating a cookie, but he's thinking about that. And I wonder what Dad's going to say to Annie and to this little guy. Oh, maybe Barney's in heaven, my father began. Ah, uh, see, Annie stuck her tongue out at me. And maybe, said my father, Barney isn't. What did I tell you, I said, and I yanked Annie's braid. Father made me let go. Uh, we don't know too much about heaven, he told Annie. We can't absolutely be sure it's there. But if it is there, said Annie in her absolute sure voice, it's bound to have a room for Barney and tuna and cream. She finished another cookie and went back home. My father told me he had to work in the garden. I said that I would help, but only a little bit. I told him I didn't like that it was dark, that Barney was dead. He said, why should I like it? It is sad, he said. He told me that it might not feel bad, so sad tomorrow. Hmm. And sometimes the next day you don't feel as sad. Well, my father had a packet of little brown seeds. He shook some out in his hand. The ground will give them food and a place to live, he said. And soon they'll grow a stem and they'll have some leaves and some flowers. Sometimes when we grow, that's what I like about spring, Grandma. Things grow that we put into the ground, and they look really, really nice. Hmm. I squeezed the pack of seeds open and looked down to the bottom. I told him, I don't see any leaves and I don't see any flowers in there. Dad said, things change in the ground, said my dad. In the ground, everything changes. Will Barney change too, I asked him. That's a good question. Oh, yes, my father said. He'll change until he's part of the ground in the garden. And then, 
I asked, will he help to make flowers and leaves? He will, said my father. He'll help grow the flowers, and he'll help grow the trees and some grass. You know, he said, that's a pretty nice job for a cat. <clears throat> my father and I planted all the seeds in the garden. Mother made sandwiches, and we ate them under the tree. After lunch, we worked in the garden some more. Yum. I like sandwiches under the tree. I like picnics, Grandma. <clears throat> hmm. Well, at night, I still didn't want to watch any television, and when I turned out my light, my mother sat down on my bed. She gave me a hug, and I said I had something to tell her. Listen, I said, and I told her the good things about Barney. Sometimes when we get ready to go to bed, that's when we like stories, and that's when we do tell good things to each other. <laughs> Barney was brave, I said, and smart and funny and clean. He was also very cuddly and handsome, and he only once ate a bird. He was sweet, I said, to hear him purr in my ear, and sometimes he slept on my belly and kept it warm. Those are all good things about Barney, said my mother, but I still only count nine. Yes, I said, but now I have another. Barney is in the ground, and he's helping flowers grow. You know, I say, that's a pretty nice job for a cat. That is a great job for a cat, Grandma. And you know, sometimes, just like Barney, it's when we don't so much miss them because they're gone or because we lost them, but because we love them. I hope this is a good story that reminds us about that. These 10 good things about Barney. The end. <laughs>